Welcome back to the channel guys. And today I'm gonna to show you step-by-step -step how to make this perfume bottle render in Blender. So we're gonna be doing all of the modeling from scratch, setting up a little scene, materials, lighting, all of it. And this is more aimed at beginners. So if you've already watched a lot of my more advanced tutorials, you might find this a bit boring. This is more aimed at people who are still new at Blender and wanna make something really simple. So this is the final result. And this is the scene right here. It's as simple as you're gonna get modeling wise. Uh, materials wise, but I think it's just an overall fun little project for a beginner. So I will be uploading this blend file to my Patreon. If you are on Patreon, you'll get access to that blend file. If not, you can just watch this tutorial and make it yourself. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna jump into it now and it'll be a lot of fun. So let's select all of our default objects as we always do and let's press delete. And then we're gonna go Shift A. That brings up our options here. We're gonna go hover over mesh I'm just gonna move our cursor down onto cylinder. Now we have just a basic cylinder here. Now, traditionally, you know, a lot of people would kind of grab these faces and start, you know, extruding and scaling, but there's a, I think a more efficient way to work. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go into edit mode. So if you don't know the shortcut for that is tab, you can just come up here and go from object into edit mode. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna press seven on a number pad to go into our top orthographic view. Right. Um, if you have a laptop, you might not have a number pad. So you can just go here to view and then go to viewport and then change the different views here. So make sure you're in the top view. Then we're gonna press Z, we're gonna go into wireframe and we're gonna come here to our very left side and you see this red line, that's our red axis line. We're just gonna click and drag and select in wireframe these verts here. So there's two of them that we selected right on the side like that in the top view. And then you can press control I or command I, and that's gonna inverse the selection. So it reverses everything. So now everything else is selected. Then we can press X and we can press delete vertices over here. Now we're gonna go to our modifiers. We have this one line over here. Under our modifiers, we're gonna go add modifier and click on search and just type in screw. So S C R E W and click on screw. And now we have this. So now if we grab this edge, we move it around, you can see we have its spinning around like this. So now let's go into our front orthographic view, one on the number pad. Once again, you can go to view and do it through the viewport this way. And we're gonna press Z again, go into wireframe. And let's grab this bottom vertex and go G, Z and move it up above this red line here. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go E to extrude a little bit, E to extrude. We're gonna extrude a few times down to this red line here. Okay, and then we're gonna press E to extrude again. And then we're gonna press E to extrude a little bit up. And then E to extrude, and we're just gonna go extrude in. Let's go like so, and then all the way till we get to this blue line over here in the middle. Just go and extrude in like that. So now you can see we have this. We've extruded this sort of shape, like that. And if we go Z and go solid, you can see we have the bottom of our bottle. So let's select this top vertex here. Let's go back into our front orthographic. I'll just jump back into wireframe. Let's grab this vertex here and just go G, Z and move it up. And you can make your bottle as tall as you want. I'm gonna go about this tall. And then you're gonna go E to extrude a little bit. And we're gonna keep pressing E, moving, left click, E to, and then move it, left click. And we're just making the shape of a bottle. We're gonna keep going. And let's just keep going, E to extrude. Let's just make kind of like a neck and let's go up like so. And if you think that doesn't look good, you can always enable your proportional editing. S click and drag, select some of these over here and then go G. And you can roll your middle mouse button to decrease or increase the fall off. And now you can widen. I might just actually adjust this, bring mine in just a little bit more because we're gonna have the lid on top of here anyway. So I'm just gonna turn off proportional editing and then we're gonna select the top vertex. We're still in wireframe. And in our front view, we're gonna go E to extrude a little bit up, E to extrude in, and then E to extrude a tiny bit down, and then E to extrude, and then we're gonna to come to the next available vertex, which is here. And we're just gonna match these verts here. So I'm gonna go E to extrude down here, E to extrude over here, and we're just making the inside profile of the bottle, okay? We're gonna go E to extrude here, E to extrude here, and just everywhere where there's a line, Roughly, you don't have to do it very precisely, but we just wanna make the inside of the bottle like this. Because what's happening here is we're now extruding down and giving it some thickness, okay? So we're gonna keep going. Let's go E to extrude and Z, go all the way down to about here, but not all the way down. 
And then from here, we're gonna get E to extrude and we're gonna start curving in. And we're gonna keep extruding down and we're just gonna kind of make a bit of a pit at the bottom here, like just a um, curve coming down. And then let's meet in the middle here where this blue line is, see how it comes together. So now we have the bottom of a bottle and there's more thickness at the bottom of the glass. So now what we can do is we can tab back out and we can go here to our screw modifier and go ahead and apply it under the modifiers. And then we're gonna go add modifier search and go sub and let's get a subdivision surface. Now, if there's any chance that your normals are messed up, so let's just quickly go back into edit mode. You can go over here to the mesh edit mode and you can go under normals and enable that. If everything is pointing outwards, these little blue lines, that's good. If they're not, just press A to select everything, go Alt N and just recalculate the outside like so. Okay, but we're all good here. So now let's go back into object mode. Let's go Shift A, let's just add in a cylinder. We're gonna go G, Z and move the cylinder up. We can go S to scale that cylinder down about this much. And then let's go Control A. We have it selected, Control A or Command A and apply the scale. Tab into edit mode and I'm gonna to come to my mesh and my edit overlays here, just turn off the normals. Let's select it, click and drag, select all the top verts in wireframe. Control B, let's just create a slight bevel by going Control B and roll our middle mouse button to add in some segments. Let's click and drag to select the bottom here. Control B or Command B, move your mouse. You can roll the middle mouse button to add or remove segments. So let's go something like this. And then let's go to our face select up here. I'm gonna go Z, go into solid, and then just select this bottom face. E I to insert it. So press I on the keyboard and then E to extrude and extrude up like so. And that's it, let's, um, let's actually, I guess with this face still selected, let's just quickly come here and hide the previous cylinder. With this face in here still selected, we can go Control B and just create a bevel. And we can go to our edge select, come to this edge in here and go Shift Alt and left click, just the loop selected and let's go Control B and just create a bevel in there as well. Tab back out, right click and go shade smooth and let's go to add modifier, search and let's go sub, get a subdivision surface and let's bring back our other cylinder. Let's double click on the first cylinder and call it bottle. Let's double click on the bottom and call it lid. And now you can grab your lid, you can in um, object mode, you can scale it, you can go G, Z, move it down. Um, you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to go into edit mode. This is optional. I'm just going to add in some extra loops. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just sliding them in. Um, yeah, but yeah, something like that. We've got this lid and you can always do a little trick where you select both in object mode and then go into edit mode at the same time. If you want to go to vertex, select, select all the top verts and then just go G, Z and you can move them up or down to adjust like so. Okay, but we have a cute little perfume bottle here. Make sure to save as you go. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make liquid inside. So let's hide our lid up here in the collection. Let's grab our bottle and let's tab into edit mode. Deselect everything. And let's look in the inside here. And with our vertex select option, we're just gonna go shift alt, hover over one of these edges and left click. And it should loop select a whole row like this. Then go control plus to grow the selection. And just keep going control plus. I'm in wireframe just so I can see. So I'm gonna select about this many and I'm gonna go shift D to duplicate, right click, but it's still active. And then press P and then go separate selection. Now we've got this new bottle.001, just double click on it and call it liquid. And then let's tab back out. And now we can just click here and select our liquid. In fact, I'm gonna hide the bottle here. Now we just have our liquid and we're gonna just go into edit mode Let's go shift alt, holding them in, left click on this edge and go G, Z, bring it down a bit. And then we're gonna go E to extrude and Z, go up a tiny bit. E to extrude and S to scale in very slightly. And then E to extrude S to scale again. G, Z, bring it down just a tiny bit. So we have a lip here, so it looks like we've got some water tension. Then E to extrude, S to scale, and then F to fill in that face. Let's quickly go to our overlays, check our normals. Press A to select everything, go Alt N and recalculate outside to fix the normals. That's important. And now let's just go turn the normals off. Let's go back into object mode. 
And let's turn our lid and our bottle back on. And now we have all of our components. Make sure to save as you go. Now let's add a stage, okay? So we're gonna go Shift A. We're gonna add in a plane. We're gonna go S to scale this plane up like this. And then we're gonna go into edit mode. Let's grab our edge select. And in our top view, we're gonna select this edge at the back here. And you can just go E to extrude and Z and extrude it up. Go to your face select and then select this face, G and Y, and you can move it back as far as you want. I'm gonna go about here, okay? Awesome, now let's go back into object mode. Let's go into our front view and let's go Shift A. Let's add in a camera, G, Z, and move it up. In your right view, just go G, Y, and move it back, like so. And now we can press zero with the camera active to go into camera view. Let's go to our focal length under our camera settings over here. Let's make it 120. And let's just go, um, if you want to, just move your camera back a little bit. Okay, and you can go G, Z, move it up. So just adjust your camera till you can see the bottle, like so. And then let's go to our render settings, change the render engine to cycles. Make your device GPU. If you have a GPU, if you don't, you can just stick to GPU and then go to max samples here and go 60 under the render. And then let's just go control S to save. And now we're gonna go in our front view, shift A, let's just add in an area light. G to move it over to the side, R to rotate it like so. And we're gonna go S and scale it up about this big. And then under our light properties with the light selected, let's just make, give that a strength of 4,000. And then in our front view, we're gonna go Shift A, let's just add in a plane, G and move it over, R, Y, 9, 0, hit enter. Scale that guy up. And this one, we're simply gonna to go to our materials, give it a material and under the base color, simply make the value here. So click on it and make it nine. That's gonna make it super reflective. Then we're gonna grab this light over here. Maybe let's just bump that up to 4,500. Let's go into our camera view by pressing zero. And let's go Z and let's go render it. And now we have this rendering nicely. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and select the bottle over here. Let's just go give that a new material and call it glass. Let's just go to the surface here and change it to glass. Bring down the roughness all the way to zero and then click on the color here. Make sure it's all the way up at a full white value here. Then grab the lid. Let's just go new. Let's just go ahead and make it kind of like a rosy kind of pink color. Let's make it metallic and let's bring down that roughness just a little bit. Now if we go Z and we go rendered, this is what we have. So now what we can do is just um, grab our liquid. Let's just go give that a material. So we come here, click on liquid. Let's make that under the transmission. Let's give it a weight of one by dragging that up. Let's give it a color, pinkish rose color. And let's bring the roughness all the way down to zero. And now if we go Z and we go rendered, this is what we have. Cool. So now let's go ahead and select our background. So that's this plane over here. Let's go new and let's just give that kind of like a light pinkish kind of color like that. Um, you can, you know, make it whatever you want. I'm just gonna go something like that. And optionally, if you wanted to in edit mode, you could select this edge and bevel it, but that's optional, okay? The main idea here is just to have something like this. So now what can we do? Let's actually grab the stage and the light and this plane here and this camera. Let's just press M, create a new collection and call it scene. Click OK. And let's just hide that. And in our front view here with our main collection, we're gonna select the bottle and everything. So the bottle, the lid and the liquid. We're gonna go Shift D to duplicate it, move it over. It's all still active. We're gonna go R to rotate it. And then we can go G and place it down here. And let's just go to the top and rotate it slightly like so. And with this one, we're just gonna select that liquid.001 and we're just gonna press delete. So we have an empty bottle. Then let's bring back our scene. 
Let's go into our front view and I'll just grab the camera over here under the scene. Just, just make sure to grab the camera. G, X, move it over to the side a bit. And let's go Shift A, let's just add in a empty and we're gonna make it a cube. Move it here in the middle. Select the camera again and under the camera settings, go to the viewport, um, uh, to the depth of field, enable that. Click on the eyedropper and then hover over the empty and click on it. And then bring this value down to like 0 0.03. And now we're gonna go render and let's give this a test render. And there we have it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this perfume tutorial. Um, you can go ahead and add as much complexity to this as you want. You can add labels, you can add a little plastic pipe that goes down into here at a little bit of a bend. But I think this has just been a very basic beginner friendly tutorial on how to make um, a nice little product render like this. So I will be uploading the blend file to my Patreon. All of that is in the description. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed it.